Right folks, good morning and welcome back to the channel. The 6th of December today, Tuesday the 6th of December and it is absolutely bloody freezing. I must be mad coming out on bike but uh, I want to continue doing as long as I can these little series of videos, winter wanderings, trying to encourage uh, you guys to get out on your bike in the colder months uh, coming up to Christmas and into the new year. So I thought if I'm going to try and encourage you guys to do it, Obviously, I've got to do it myself as well. So, um, what I've done this uh, video, it's a follow-on from last week's video, if people have watched that. Uh, last week, just a quick recap, I came via Settle, uh, out towards Ribble Head Viaduct, and then made my way down to the viaduct, did a bit of filming down there, and then uh, just sort of floated around, came home. So, this week's video, what I've done is, I've just come back through Settle, it's a few miles behind me, and I've just pulled over, uh, I've forgotten the name of this road actually, oh in fact yeah, B6479, which uh, takes you up to the T-junction, where last week I turned left to go to the viaduct, this week I'm going to be turning right and that will take me into Hawes. Uh, I've forgotten exactly how many miles it is from that junction into Hawes, but it's certainly not a significant dif uh, distance. So um, weather's a lot different than it was last week, that's for sure. Last week I had uh, low cloud, fog, mist, the whole caboodle and today, although it's bitterly cold, we've got bright skies uh, I keep getting duped into thinking the sun's trying to come out, but I don't think it is in reality. Right, for some reason the battery's just turned off there on the camera. I think it's genuinely just because of the bitter cold temperatures up here. So, sorry about that. So, I was just saying there, yeah, I think I've been duped into thinking that the sun's going to come out. Uh, but in reality, it's not. Uh, so, yeah, a few miles ahead, if that, uh, I come to the T-junction where I'm going to turn right to go towards Hawes. It's only a few miles on from there. I'm not sure exactly how far. But uh, I'll do some filming, obviously. Try and get uh, some decent footage to get uh, a video put together. Hope you enjoy it, especially if you're not too familiar with this area. It might encourage some of you to venture into this next of the woods up in North Yorkshire, stroke the Yorkshire Dales. Um, battery seems to be working now. I have no idea why that cut off, other than perhaps the cold got to it. So we shall make a move and we'll see how long this battery lasts. Hopefully, it won't cut out on me again as soon as I get going, otherwise, it's going to be a right faff changing the battery all the time. Right, I'll back to you in a moment. Right, let's get a wriggle on. And as I said, hopefully this battery won't cut out on me again. So I'm all nice and thermaled up. I've got my um, Gerbing jacket on, got my gloves on. In fact, I better just turn them on. I've just disconnected the uh, lead. So I'll turn them back on. Get them on full belt, on hot. There we go. Just takes the chill off. Right, let's get going. So yeah, bitterly cold. I went in two minds to come out today. I don't know about you guys, but certainly me, when it gets cold, as cold as this, it takes uh, a lot of motivation to get going. Uh, I got snuggled down on the settee this morning with my dogs, watching a bit of telly, and I thought, I really need to get out on bike. But then I thought, well, ooh, I don't know if I can be bothered. But anyway, I plucked up the courage, got keyed up, and here I am. Right, so we've got the viaduct there just ahead of me. Oh, that's not good. Road ahead closed in two miles. Wonder why that is then. I'll just tilt the camera up a bit actually. I think that was a bit low down. That's probably better. Right, road ahead closed in two miles. Well, I wonder if there's a diversion. Hopefully so, because I want to show a uh, horse to y'all. It's 
so we're on the B6255 now and the wind is very strong coming from my left hopefully you can still hear me well, we're not going to get far down here are we if this road's closed Wonder why they've closed it off. Anyway, regardless, I'll show you what I can, and if I can fathom out another way to horse, if I genuinely can't get through, I will do. There must be an alternative route. There's cars coming through towards me, so they must be coming from somewhere. I cannot believe how bloody cold it is. I must be totally mad coming out on the bike. But it does make you feel good. It lifts your spirits. Yes, it lifts your spirits and then gives you frostbites in the package. Oh, I've still got cars coming towards me. Still no signs of any other uh, road closures or cones or workmen. All right, we've got some road signage here. What does this say? So I wonder... I might go over a little nosy. It does say closed. Let's see exactly how closed. Well, welcome to Richmondshire. dark cloud over there but I did check the forecast it's not supposed to rain I reckon we're gonna get some snow this week maybe not in this part of the country but they could do because it's quite high up and exposed it's certainly cold enough to snow just slow it down a bit here there's a lot of shit there on the road Well, the battery is still running nicely in the camera. I've no idea why it stopped back there in the lay-by. Normally it's the cold that affects them. Right, so let's see what we're doing here. So yeah, that is definitely closed. This road will be closed the fifth for two weeks, okay. Right, so I definitely can't get through there. Let's have a look then. Let's have a look at the sat nav. Let's see what that says. Ooh, where to? Uh, ba, 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 ba. Explore address. I want a city, don't I? Is it a city I want? Hawes. Yeah, go to Hawes. That's what I want. Go. Right, it's telling me to make a U turn, but obviously I can't. So, let's see.
So I might have to go back up to this junction where it said Segberg, take a right there and try and uh, wheedle my way through to horse from that direction. Right, so I'll take a right here. So Dent and Dentdale take a right and Sedberg three miles. I do know this route, I've been on it before. I can't remember whether it takes you through to Hawes, but I'm sure it will do. But it's a mystery tour for us all. And it's beautiful scenery, it's not snowing, so what's not to like? Maybe I should have come to Dent, uh, not to Dent, maybe I should have gone to Horse the other week instead of going to Ribblehead. But you never know, dear. I didn't know that road was going to close. But I'm still showing you the delights of North Yorkshire and the Dales. This is a very steep hill. I wonder if that's still a working railway bridge. Probably will be, won't it? Yeah, that'll be a settled, won't it? Settled line. A continuation, no doubt. Well, maybe Rivel Head right, right up to maybe that's further down there. Who knows? Just been mindful on some of these roads, there's a lot of grass. Uh, not grass, silly idiot, leaves. Well, that's nice, uh, bit of a waterfall. Right, Dentdale, Adam Sedgwick's birthplace, Cowgill with Dent. Right, just let these guys come through. Oh. <clears throat> oh, chilly. Right, what have we got? Public bridle away. I ain't going to be driving up there or riding up there. There's been a bit of gritting on these roads. I have to be mindful when I get back home. Give the bike a good wash. The cold water. Get all that rock salt off. I don't think the council have gone daft yet with it. But there are a few little bits and bats of it around. I remember this bridge. I met the guy who lives in the cottage a while ago. Right, what have we got? So we've got Dent up there. Uh, Dent Station and Ribblehead. Hmm. Let's go this way. What does that mean? U5509 Lear Yeat to Garsdale. Altitude 1750 feet. Winter conditions can be dangerous. Sounds exciting. Let's go see. Let's go explore it.
is quite steep. I'll certainly climb in here. So the sat nav's picked up an alternative route here, just over three and a half miles, a right turn onto the A684 towards Hawes. So we'll give that a go, see if that works out. Some walkers here, they're very brave. Yeah, so I'm going to try and get as many rides in as I can this week, possibly at least another two, and then at least that way, if it does snow and we get impacted on by the smoke, snow. I've still got some videos that I can work on editing, keep me occupied and also put out for you guys to watch, keep you all entertained. Oh, this is proper bleak up here. I don't think I'll have a phone signal up here, but I'll give it a go in a minute. Let's see if I can check the temperature. A proper nasty dark cloud right ahead of me here. Well, I say ahead of me, ahead and above. Hopefully the camera's picking that up, but it's a very moody sky. Let's see if we can get a photograph here of the bike. Do something for Instagram, because I'm on Instagram now, folks. Uh, same uh, name for that as I've got for the YouTube channel. So if you just basically do a search on Instagram, uh, 701 Adventures, you will find me. Assuming I've done it right. Oh, right. Oh, I've got my back stiff. Very cold. Right, just turn that off two ticks. But yeah, I'll just give you a quick uh, browse of where I am. Beautiful scenery all around, apart from there, some very dark clouds over there. But yeah, so I'm heading up that road, not too far. So I'll just get a quick photo, like I said, and then we'll get going again. All connected up to heated gear. Fire the beast up. And off we go. So I've just tried to get a phone signal there just to see what the temperature is. Still nothing up here. Doesn't surprise me to be honest. It is in the middle of nowhere. As cold as it is up here at the moment. I still find it immensely beautiful. One of my favourite places up here, besides Scotland. And the beauty of this place is, it's only about an hour or so, well not this exact place, but the general North Yorkshire area and the Yorkshire Dales, only about an hour from home. I've got the sunshine coming through there, the clouds and those hills ahead. I have a feeling my camera's uh, battery's going to die, it's just turned amber 
from Green. Certainly hasn't been recording an hour, but I think it's just the cold that gets to them. I meant to bring my external battery pack, but I forgot like an idiot again. But I brought plenty of batteries, so there's no issues there. Right, half a mile, take a right onto the A6A4. I might be lucky. Uh, my battery might last until I get to Hawes. Right, Hawes, six miles. few viaducts around this neck of the woods isn't there? That's another nice one. Not as big as Rubble Head. Welcome to Richmondshire, which we've already entered once of course. So Horse and Leyburn straight ahead on the A684. I'm glad I managed to get here anyway. I'd have been a bit disappointed having intended to get to Hawes if I hadn't have actually physically been able to get there from the direction I was heading without doing uh, a massive detour. Because I do like to share some of my destinations with you folks. Uh, oh, now what we've got? No through road. Well, it's okay, I'm only going to Hawes. to the town of Hawes and look at the price of that fuel £1.42 a litre I shall definitely get filled up there on the way back so I'll have a quick drive or a quick ride rather through the town of Hawes and then we'll get parked up somewhere and have a bit of a breather and maybe a walk around. A lovely little place this. Very popular with bikers and walkers and everybody seems to be quite friendly here. Yeah, I'll ride up here and I think I'll get parked up and then I'll go for a little walk. Get the other camera out and show you what horse has to offer. I hate riding on cobbles, they're quite slippery these. So that's it really, just a quick loop around there. Let's get parked up. In fact, I'll stick it here between these cars 
this will do nicely outside the chippy right back with you all in a moment when I get the other camera out so all the shops are nice and festive I've all got the Christmas trees outside local spa and then if I just pop over the road here we've got uh, the fountain public house and they've got a bit of a tree up as well so this is the main street of Hawes as you've obviously guessed one road in one road out And that's something you'll often see in shops around here. Dogs welcome. So we'll just carry on having a walk down here. So there's a couple of pubs here. So like I said, there's the Crown over there. Dale's house, bed and breakfast. Local spa. If you stay here, you definitely won't go hungry or thirsty. Well, that looks a nice cafe, Cafe Curva, if that's how you pronounce that. Got their own parking, which is good. But yeah, it looks a nice warm place, a welcoming place. Right, I'll have a wander down here, which is the way I rode a few moments ago, and then I'll come up the other side where the cobbles are. So I'll come back to you in a moment. So those in front of us there, that's just some of the old cottages that would have been here many, many moons ago. Probably used by mill workers, farm hands, that type of thing. Uh, let's pan around here. So we've got a nice stream down there. And if I just come around here to the left and pan up, you might just be able to see a bit of a waterfall. But we're going to have a walk around there anyway. So this is the Cobbled Street, or the beginning of the Cobbled Street that came up a few moments ago. We'll have a wander up here, have a look at some of the shops. They're all nice and Christmassy there. All right, so I'll just cross over here where that water is and you can see it better. Hopefully you'll be able to hear that as well. And then that's just the other angle that I was looking at it from. So the old Royal Mail post box there, 780 quid, how much is that one? A mere 265. Quite nice that though. And then this one, how much is that one? 550. That's even dearer. Yeah, yes, I like those log holders. Right, carry on up here. I'll well, just have a quick look at this uh, Christmas decoration window. Right, carry on. Looks like we've got another pub or something up here. Yeah, we've got another antique shop. Sturman's Antiques. Seem to do a lot of clocks and stuff like that. I thought that was a pub, it's a butcher's. So that's the other pub there, the White Hart Inn, which is just at the top of the cobbles. So if you haven't had too much after you've been drinking down the bottom, you can stagger up the cobbles and have a couple more pints here before you go into one of your best uh, guest houses. Just which are just around the corner. So 
So then we're back up at the top of the junction here where I headed down there where that car's going and the cafe curva just over there. So we'll have a walk back up here to the bike. So it's a very small hamlet, his hose. Homemade fudge. Right, we are good to go. So yeah, if that video footage turned out all right there, I've included some, just a quick walk around through the town or the village, what you want to call it, of Hawes, just showing you a few of the shops. Nothing major, but uh, some of you might uh, like what you've seen. Right, I'm going to get some fuel now from what I believe to be the cheapest petrol station in the area. So as I said, it's the 6th of December 2022 and we've got fuel here, unleaded, 142 a litre. See if I can work out how you do this. Right, we're all sorted. Get my gloves back on. Amber, red. Blue, amber, red. Quick as that to get your gloves sorted out. Right, so yeah, 142. Uh, 142 exactly a litre for unleaded, 163 exactly a litre for diesel. And the reason why they can do that is because it's a community funded or ran petrol station which benefits everybody around here and obviously visitors. Right, so I'm going to head back in the general direction of home. I would normally go that way to my left, but obviously that's the way that would have come, but the road was closed. So I'm going to retrace my steps here. The light is fading, but it's still not too bad. So I'm going to head back towards Ribblehead Viaduct, uh, where from there I can go back in towards Settle. So I'll turn the camera off in a few moments and I'll catch up with you again around about the viaduct area. Right, I'm back with you. So I'm nowhere near the viaduct yet, Ribblehead Viaduct, but I just thought, got to turn the camera back on here. It's a bit later than I expected it to be, to be fair, and the light's fading. And as the light fades, you get this beautiful warm glow, obviously what they call the golden hour. And uh, it's just showing nicely on the mountains. Looks pretty impressive, I think. So I thought I'll turn it on, turn the cameras on for you all, and hopefully you'll enjoy them. We have cows, lots of cows blocking the road off. And they're not being cooperative either. Right folks, hopefully you can hear me over the, uh, the bike. Uh, I sincerely apologise if I don't see problems there with the batteries in the GoPro. Uh, it's just the cold that's killing them. They are well known for it. But uh, I'm at Kirby Longsdale now. Uh, there's nobody else here biker-wise. So I just wanted to do a quick sort of exit for the video. And uh, thank everybody for watching. Thank everybody who subscribed to my channel recently as well. The numbers are going up nearly a 1,000. So that's good. So, yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, please, I'd appreciate it if you could leave a comment down below. And um, maybe share the video with somebody else if you think that they might enjoy it. 
but uh, have a look at some of my other videos and if you like the style of videos that I do again I'd appreciate if you would consider subscribing to my channel that's always much appreciated okay folks I'll uh, catch up with you very shortly I'm going to crack on now because it's getting late and it's getting a bit parky uh, and I don't want to hit all the traffic in Skipton when I get down that neck of the woods so thank you again folks and I'll catch up with you in due course ta-da